Okay, so we're gonna come in here and we're just gonna draw our profile right here. I'm gonna draw out a rotated rectangle. Let's just make it a square from here. Use the move tool, move a copy over. So now I know that this is centered and now we can use this as the basis if I needed to scale it in or adjust it with something like this. Go parallel projection, that way we can just zoom all the way in. So use our tape measure and just bring out our first point here, something like that. And then we can mark center and we can mark a half inch this way and I'm gonna mark a half inch this way and then a 16th this way, a 16th this way. And then I'm gonna mark this up, maybe an eighth like that. I'm gonna draw a line from there to there. So I'm just gonna grab this guy and move him over and recycle that edge here. So then let's trace the construction guide from here to here and then from here to here as well. And then from here, it's pretty easy. All we need to do is draw out our arc here and we're just gonna come up and snap here. Segment count wise, it is a little faceted, but the distance that we're gonna view this from wouldn't make sense to add any more geometry. Let's go to edit, delete guides, you delete this little piece here. This is a little long. I'm just gonna shorten this, something like that. If I wanted to widen this a little bit, I could just use the scale tool and pull this out of here. Sometimes I'll come and trim just a little bit right there. And I'm looking for that inference. And now I can select both of those, right click, make group, delete. So this will be the profile. Let's go back to pr perspective. We could turn off x-ray mode for a second. So let's use our push pull and just click there. And now let's just pull that up and let's snap up here. Let's triple click on that. So now what I can do is just move this over, get this green inference. We're gonna hold shift. Come down, click this endpoint, click once with the left mouse button, move up on the north south edge here. We're gonna click again, and now we're gonna rotate this around. We're gonna tap control, and then we're gonna snap it to this edge here. And now what I'm gonna do is grab endpoint here, and we're just gonna move it over and snap it to the endpoint there. Let's move it forward, and let's position and then scale it in. So now let's just grab that edge, bring it down, let's snap there. We're gonna grab this again, move tool, troll, you'll see a plus sign, turn off x-ray mode. And there we go, I think we got our trim. Let's get in and double click, get inside of one of our groups, tap B to bring up our paint bucket and let's just paint that and then click an empty space to close our group or hit escape. So there is our trim. One of the options in solid tools is union. So if I would select this, hit union, and then select here. Now I've unioned, you can see these two pieces together and it very cleanly, especially if we turn on x-ray mode, so we can actually watch it in real time. So let's select here and then let's go union, select here. And you can see how very, very quick that cleaned that up. And now we can come down here with it still selected, hit union, select here and then select here. So now we have a really, really clean piece of trim that we built from a very simple profile and then just union things together. All right, so the only thing missing here is this outer piece of frame. And if we come back here, it is essentially the same profile. So we can actually borrow it. So let's get in here and select our profile and hit copy. And we're gonna close our group and then we're gonna hit paste in place. Now I'm just gonna move this over. Let me delete this. This actually needs to move over like that. Let's just close this here and double click. Click once to deselect just the face and leave the outer edges selected. And now grab follow me, selected, right? But we can't use it here because this is in a group. So if we click on it, nothing happens. But watch this, if I right click on it and I go here to edit group, and now I left click on it, it actually works. So basically we loaded in the path into the follow me tool. As long as we don't click off of it and it's still active, it's in there. If we right click, we can enter into a group or component and then click a face and it will recall the path and do the operation. Okay, so let's close this, delete our face here, close this group, and now this looks a lot better. So this is up a little high here and click there and just bring it up right to the top. And then we can double click on this one to repeat it and then hide rest model again, click out of our group, 
back out of our group again. And I think that looks pretty good. Now we can select both of these and use union. And you can see that now we've got a very clean piece of molding here. So I think that looks really, really clean. It should sit really nice inside of our framing. If we needed to move uh, the trim and the glass forward, we could do that. It, it probably sits a little bit closer. So let's lock it on the green axis and bring it up there. If we're making a double-sided door, you can bring a copy of this over and do our little scale trick. Bring that this way and do minus one. And now we could bring this in and there we go. There's our double-sided window trim. I think that looks pretty good overall.